What's up traders? This is VTrades and today we'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown from NVIDIA Corporation with the ticker symbol NVDA. I will first be going over what I see on the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So if you guys want to see weekly NVIDIA updates, make sure you get the video to at least 50 likes. Last time I did NVIDIA, I only had 21 likes. So that tells me that most people don't want to watch this. But again, NVIDIA is a popular stock, so I want to keep uh, putting it out for you guys. But let me know in the like button if you guys want to see this or not. It has to get at least 50 likes uh, for me to be uh, doing this uh, for next week. So let's take a look at the daily chart. I want to look at the charts on this channel because the charts are my reality. I don't care about the news. Um, the charts will tell me where most price is most likely headed. So again, this is a very strong move up higher since the beginning of this year. And you can see that it's maintaining this momentum to the upside. That's what this orange upper channel represents. And it basically showcases that bullish momentum. And where is price headed? Well, we don't have a reference point on the left side of the chart because there's all time highs uh, as of right now, but we can use a measurable target. And this was the prior leg in the past, which can lead to a similar size leg in the future. And that would bring price to the high 700s or 786, 788 uh, to be more accurate. So it's headed in that direction. I don't think this is a top. It can be because we're definitely overextended and it's due for a pullback. Uh, and we do have that earnings report coming up. So generally, uh, where price is relation to that earnings report can move it up or down a large amount. Uh, so for example, this was a good earnings report right over here. You can see that the prior earnings report was a good one. Uh, they beat earnings by 20%, revenue by t uh, 11, 12%. But look where it was in relation to the chart. It was right at the prior highs or resistance. And look what happened. Price dropped lower um, even though the earnings report was good. So again, good earnings don't always push up prices and bad earnings don't always push down prices. Uh, you have to look at the chart too. So, I mean, if price is really overextended, if it hits that 780 level, by the time the uh, earnings is coming out, there's a good chance it'll probably dump the price uh, because it's overextended. Is that guaranteed to occur? No, it's not. Uh, it can always still push up the price. But I mean, if I were to say which way it would go, more likely, I would say since price is overextended and we have the earnings report, they'll probably use that earnings report as an opportunity to dump the shares uh, towards the downside or the price to the downside. So again, short term, you know, Nvidia is still pushing up higher. I wouldn't say this is the top. We're still within this orange channel, but a pullback is definitely due either soon or uh, right before that earnings report when we reach that uh, 780 level, um, because that's where this measure move target is. And if I drag the lows uh, and make a channel out of it, uh, you can see that if I drag it up to the highs, this would be the where the target would be somewhere right around the. Um, red circle. So this would be the highs of the channel because you see the midline is holding really well right over here. Uh, and this is the highs of the channel as of right now. So again, we'll see what happens. But as of right now, it is headed higher in the short term. I'd be bullish for NVIDIA in the short term. But when that earnings report comes out, it could dump that price. Let's take a look at the weekly. Definitely overextended. Uh, a lot of people don't understand that when price gets overextended from the EMA, uh, price will eventually come back to it. Keyword is eventually. Uh, and again, just like right over here in 2021, there was an overextension from that EMA, this blue line, and price eventually fell back below it or came right to it. So we're going to get that same thing. Same thing occurred over here. Price was overextended from the EMA in August of last year, came right towards that EMA. Doesn't mean it's going to happen right away. You see that it stayed far away from the EMA for a long time. But when it got really overextended, really overdone, that has a higher probability of occurring. And this is the most it's been in a while. So there's a good chance we're going to see that uh, huge uh, push down. Uh, it's never a good idea to be buying all time highs of a stock that's extremely overextended. So again, that's all I have for video on the daily weekly charts. I'm expecting higher prices, but I wouldn't be expecting too much. Maybe just another, you know, 60 bucks uh, for the price, 782, 786. Uh, but when that earnings report comes out, there's a good chance it could drop down that price. Um, so that's all I have from video on the daily week shows, V Trades, and thank you for your time.